Hey everyone, today we're finding the alcohol content in homebrew kombucha. So I have two different kinds of kombucha that I'm going to be testing that you would likely encounter in home brewing. The first is what's called 1F or first ferment, and the other is called 2F or second ferment. The basic idea here is that your 1F is sort of your bulk ferment where you just make plain uncarbonated kombucha, and then the 2F is where you can add different flavors or fruit or things like that and get it carbonated in a sealed container. So this 2F right here is a raspberry lemonade flavor. I put about three ounces of fruit juice in it and the rest was kombucha. It's pretty good, it's pretty sweet, uh, carbonated really nicely. So the things that we'll need in order to test the alcohol content in these two varieties of homebrew kombucha is first a computer to do our calibration curve. This isn't completely necessary, but it's the most accurate way, so that's what I'll be using today. We have duplicates of all of our samples poured out. So here we have our 1F kombucha. We have our 2F kombucha, about 20, 25, maybe 30 mils of all those. The volume doesn't matter too much. And then we have duplicates of all of our calibration standards. So here we have 0 0.1%, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 1%, and 2%. So the basic procedure that we're gonna be using is using this alcohol detector, we're gonna plug it in, turn it on, let it warm up for 15 minutes. Then we're gonna test all of our calibration standards and find the raw reading. So the alcohol detector is gonna display two things in the alcohol slot, the predicted percentage as well as the raw reading. So today, since we're building our own calibration curve, we're just going to be using the raw reading rather than the built-in alcohol percentage. Okay, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna plug in the detector, let it warm up, and then we can test our samples. Okay, so we're back. It's all warmed up, so now I'm gonna take all of the calibration samples and see how our calibration curve looks. So we are ready now to take our unknown samples and find out how much alcohol is in our kombucha. A couple of things that I did to prepare the samples is first I degas them and the way I do that is I just shake them up like this and then let the carbonation escape just so bubbles or foam doesn't enter the detector. The other thing I did is I took this 2F or secondary ferment, whatever you want to call it. This was in the refrigerator so I made sure to pour these samples a while ago and they've since warmed up to room temperature. So if you take all of your measurements at room temperature, it makes everything really, really easy. All right, so now we're gonna test our 1F first. I predict that the first ferment will be slightly lower in alcohol content. Okay, you see we've got a little bit of an issue here. It's foaming a bunch. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of vegetable oil so that it doesn't foam into the detector. Okay, so I have a little bit of vegetable oil. It's in this fancy bottle. Don't worry about that. We just need a couple drops, to be honest. You know, one or two mils max. And that will do the trick. In one of my previous videos, all I had on hand was beard oil. So you, uh, you really can use anything. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to it. We got the oil for our anti-foam and you can see it's reduced the bubbles a bunch. All right, camera woman, Maddie, what does the raw reading say? 815. 815, eight, eight, okay, so I'm typing that into the calculator and I got 1.08% alcohol in this. So now what we're gonna do is just take the sample out. This is done now, you can only read the samples once because reading the sample actually lowers the alcohol content. So we're just gonna let the alcohol detector sit here for a minute and settle back down to a low raw reading. Okay, so it's dropped down below our 0.1% sample number. So we're gonna screw in our duplicate of the 1F. Camera woman Maddie, is it stabilized yet? What does the screen say? 811. 811, okay. So we're gonna type that into the calculator and we get 1.06%. Okay, so we're done with this sample and we're gonna take it out. 
let it sit again, let it sort of reset for about 30 seconds to a minute. So far, our 1F looks like it was about 1.07%. So we got 1.08% and 1.06%. Everybody's homebrew kombucha is gonna vary widely. It depends on so many factors. Like I talked about in the ginger bug video, it's the same sort of story, uh, you know, vessel size, vessel geometry, sugar content, brewing temperature, the list goes on and on. So don't take any of these readings to be the same readings that you're going to get in your kombucha. So anyway, enough rambling. I'm going to try out the 2F, the raspberry lemonade. I'm excited about this one. Okay, camera woman Maddie, how's it looking? What's the reading? 802. 802. Okay, that's interesting. It's a little bit lower. That's giving us a reading of 1.02%. That's actually lower than the 1F, which is really not what I expected at all. Again, the sample is done, so we're going to throw this away, and we're going to test our duplicate of the 2F once the detector falls back to baseline readings. Okay, it's fallen down enough for me to do the second reading, so we're going to screw this one in. Our final test. What's it saying, camera woman Maddie? It's say 813.5. So that gives us 1.07%. Okay, so what we learned today is that our homebrew kombucha is brewing around a little bit above 1% alcohol content, and our to ferment, our secondary fermentation that we do with our fruit juices is actually a tiny bit lower alcohol content than our 1F, which I find to be really surprising. I expected that addition of fruit and sugar to get the yeast really excited and really going and produce a lot of alcohol. That's not the case. Thanks for watching this video. If you're a commercial brewer, you might be interested in a product like this. If you're a home brewer, this probably isn't for you unless you're just curious about the alcohol in your kombucha or ginger bug or anything like that. If you're interested, I have a series of videos you can watch on the specifics on how to use this detector. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Feel free to like and subscribe if you want to follow along with any more alcohol content detecting adventures. Thanks for watching. Happy brewing.